Hi guys and welcome back to another crochet tour tutorial. Um, so I've been playing a lot of this new game called Littlewood at the moment and I noticed that there aren't any crochet patterns available yet for any of the characters so I thought I would make a tutorial um, and my own pattern for my favourite character in the game which is Bubsy. So here is what I made. And yeah, um, so I'll talk you through the materials that you'll be needing for this uh, now. So you'll be needing some Aran yarn in the following colours. And as always, you can use whatever weight of yarn that you want, but I always use Aran and I always use a 4mm crochet hook. Um, and that's just how I prefer to um, uh, create my um, amigurumi uh, project. But you can pick whichever weight of yarn and whichever size of hook that you prefer. So I'm using Jade Green. Some light yellow, black, fuchsia, dark brown and medium brown. And then you'll be needing, as I mentioned, a crochet hook. So mine's four millimeter. You'll be needing some scissors, a yarn needle for sewing, some stuffing, obviously a lot more than this, but this is just what I have to hand. Some fabric glue for the eyes and some felt for the eyes in white and black, just a small amount will do. Um, some stitch markers, I just use scrap bits of yarn. And then you might want some pins as well to help when you're sewing, but this isn't 100% necessary, but it just makes your life a little bit easier uh, if you do have those. So yeah, that's everything you'll be needing. Um, so yeah, if you want to find out how to make Bubsy, then keep watching. And as always, the written pattern is available on my blog. So if you're an advanced crochet that doesn't need the video to help you, um, or you would just rather read the written pattern, then uh, feel free to click the link and you'll find it there. First step is to take our jade colour yarn and do six single crochets in a magic circle. Then pull and close up the hole. And then our next step is to just increase in every stitch around so we get to 12 single crochets at the end of round two. there we go now I've got 12 single crochets all the way around so I'm just going to talk you through the next few rounds because they're just standard increases uh, in increments of six per round so for round three we're going to do a single crochet increase six times that will get us to 18 for round four we're going to do two single crochet increase six times to get us to 24 Round five, we're going to do three single crochet increase six times to get us to 30. Round six, we're going to do four single crochet increase six times to get us to 36. For round seven, we're going to do five single crochet increase six times to get us to 42. And then for round eight, we're going to do six single crochet increase six times to get us to 48. So I'll meet you at the end of round eight when you should have 48 single crochets all the way around. So at the end of round eight, you should have your 48 single crochets all the way around. Now, all we need to do for the next 10 rounds, so round nine to 18, is simply a single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you at the end of round 18. So at the end of round 18, you should have your 48 single crochets all the way around. 
Um, now from round 19 onwards we're going to start decreasing in increments of 6. So again I'm just going to talk you through this as this is just um, standard decreases. So for round 19 you'll do 6 single crochet decrease 6 times to get you to 42 single crochets at the end of the round. Round 20, 5 single crochet decrease 6 times to get you to 36. Round 21, 4 single crochet decrease 6 times to get you to 30. Round 22, 3 single crochet decrease 6 times to get you to 24. And then round 23, 2 single crochet decrease 6 times to get you to 18. Um, so I will meet you at the end of round 23 when you have 18 single crochets all the way around. So I got to the end of round 23. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff the head firmly and we will continue uh, topping up our stuffing every few rounds after this point. So give me one second, I'm just going to get my stuff in. So now that we've added our stuffing, the next step is to, for round 24, simply single crochet all the way around. But bear in mind that at the end of this round, we're going to change to our medium brown colour um, yarn. So uh, bear that in mind on the last stitch. So I'm just going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. Okay, and now we are um, on to the last single crochet of the round. So I'm going to um, pull up a loop in the jade colour and I'm going to get my medium brown. And I'm going to pull through in this colour. Now, it doesn't matter that the uh, colour change is visible here because it's going to be covered up by the scarf. So don't worry about doing any special techniques to hide that. So there we have it. Now we've changed to our brown colour and we're ready to do round 25. So I'm going to talk you through the next few rounds as they're quite simple. So for round 25, we're going to do two single crochet increase six times to get us to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. Then for round 26, we're going to single crochet all the way around. And then for round 27, we're going to do three single crochet increase six times to get us to 30 single crochets. So I'll meet you at the end of round 27. So I got to the end of round 27 and I've got my 30 single crochets all the way around. Now we're just going to do a few rounds of single crocheting all the way around. So from rounds 28 to 36, we're just going to single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you at the end of round 36. So now that we've reached the end of round 36, we need to change colour to our dark brown um, yarn. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a fake single crochet to finish off the round so that the colour change is uh, less obvious. Now of course you can do a simple colour change if you want to um, and you could make sure that the colour change part is at the back of the um, bubsy so that you can't see it but for me um, I'm actually going to do my fake single crochet. So to do this I'm just going to cut the yarn going to just remove this stitch marker. I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to pull the yarn through not the next stitch but the stitch afterwards so not this one but this one like this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
take the tail and I'm then going to pull it through just this first loop of the um, last single crochet of round 36. So here we go. And then as you can see, that has now created a fake single crochet here. But the number of single crochets all around, including the fake one, will still be 30. So it doesn't change the stitch count at all. So all I'm going to do now is just tie this off at the back. Ooh, trying to get my hook through one of these loops. There we go. Like that. And then I'm going to just hide that on the inside so there we go so now i've finished off with my fake single crochet i'm going to uh, attach the dark brown color so when i reattach this i'm going to attach it into the back loop only because for round 37 we're just single crocheting into the back loop only of each of the 30 single crochets all the way around so i'm going to just pick this single crochet to attach into Then I'm going to single crochet into this stitch and then I'm going to single crochet into the back loop only of each of the other single crochets all the way around. So I'm just going to do that and I will meet you at the end of round 37. So I got to the end of round 37 and I've done a single crochet in the back loop only of each single crochet of round 36. Now for round 38 all we need to do is single crochet all the way around so another 30 single crochets this time in both loops like normal so I'll meet you at the end of round 38. Okay, so now I've got to the end of round 38 and what we need to start doing now is to um, create splits in this round to make the two legs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decide which side I want the face to be on. Um, so I'm going to have a look and just see which side sort of looks the um, neatest to me and I think I'm going to pick this side here. So I'm going to make sure that the colour changes at the back because although it's not very visible I can still kind of see where it is and I would rather that part would be at the back so this is going to be the front of the Bubsy for me um, and what I like to do is I just like to put a pin into sort of the centre of the face so I can uh, remember that that's where I wanted the um, the face to be and then I can uh, work with that um, when I'm uh, trying to position everything else um, on, on the Bubsy. So you can do the same thing if you want to. Then what you're going to want to do is get some stitch markers. So I've just got uh, these pieces of yarn because I don't have any actual stitch markers but you could use uh, proper plastic stitch markers if you wanted to. And what we're going to do next is we're going to map out the legs and we're going to start crocheting crocheting them. So the first thing we need to do is we need to crochet to the left hand most stitch um, from our perspective when we're looking at the face facing us. So basically I'm going to crochet to the uh, one of the stitches on the left here so I'm just going to show you me doing that and this doesn't count as a round. I think that might be it so I'm just going to have a look and see um, yep I think that's fine so I've done that so now what we're going to do is we are actually going to do one final round before we start creating the legs so this is round 39 and all we're going to do is one decrease then we're going to do 11 single crochets so one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we're going to do two decreases. One, two, then 11 single crochets again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, and then a decrease. So now we should have 26 single crochets all the way around. And now at this point, we're going to start mapping out where the legs will go. So what we want to end up with is two legs either side with uh, 10 single crochets in the round for each leg. And that will mean that there's a free single crochet gap at the front and the back, um, which we will end up closing up at the end. So to map that out, all we need to do is count five single crochets after the last single crochet of round 39. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just going to put a stitch marker into this single crochet and then I'm gonna including this one count back 10 single crochets so that um, I can mark the other side of the leg so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this one and I'm gonna put a white one there so that I know that these are both uh, the same leg same color stitch marker so that's the first leg and then all I need to do is count four single crochets across from the first stitch marker one two three four and this will be um, for the other leg so I'm just going to put that through here and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side one two three four and now this maps out two sorry two ten single crochet legs with three single crochet gap between on either side so now we can start working on the uh, left leg so I'll show you how to do that now so for round one of the left leg all we need to do is five single crochets so one two three four five and this should bring you up to the first stitch marker which you can just remove at this point and then on the other side we now need to do five single crochets to create our circle so the first single crochet should go into this marked stitch here so I'm just going to remove the stitch marker because I know which stitch it is so it's this one here and then we just need to try and do a fairly tight single crochet here so one so there's that and then we just need to do four more two three, four, five. And as you'll see, what we've done here is we've created a 10 single crochet circle. So if you're using stitch markers, um, you can just start marking the first stitch of every round from now on, which will be this next stitch here. Um, and this is all we need to do for round one. So round one is complete and all we're doing is another six rounds of single crocheting all the way around. So round two to seven, we just single crochet all the way around for this leg. So I'll meet you at the end of round seven. So now I've reached the end of round seven and that's actually all we need to do at this stage for the left leg. So all I'm going to do is just cut the yarn, leaving a slight tail pull it through like this and then all you need to do is weave this in um in on the inside and then cut it or just um hide this on the inside somewhere and that's absolutely fine we are going to be creating uh separate shoes in black yarn um so that's why we're leaving an open hole for now um what you will want to do at this point probably is to stuff the body if you haven't done so already and also stuff this leg um but i will probably just do that myself after i have shown you how to um reattach the yarn to create the other leg so the stitch that you need to reattach the yarn into is um, five single crochets back from this last stitch marker that we placed on the back of the bubsy so one two three four five so we're gonna reattach into this stitch and we're gonna do five single crochets like we did for the other leg so one two three, four, and then bring us up to this stitch marker, which I'll now remove. Five. And then we're gonna do the pretty much the same thing we did for the other leg. So the next single crochet needs to go into the uh, other marked stitch, the final marked stitch that we haven't um, already worked in. So I'm just gonna do that now. And then we just need to do four single crochets 
around the rest of the leg. So one, two, three, four, and that is our first round for the other leg. So all we need to do is the exact same thing that we did for the uh, other leg. So we just need to do six more rounds of just single crocheting all the way around. So that will be round two to seven. So again, I'll meet you at the end of round seven uh, for the other leg. So I've reached the end of round seven for the other leg and all I did was I finished stuffing the body and the legs and I wove in the ends for both of the legs and cut the yarn. So this is what we're left with. So from the front, this is what it looks like. Now what we need to do is we need to reattach some dark brown yarn uh, into these middle three stitches to close them off. So I'm just going to grab my needle and do that. So I'm just going to start sewing up uh, this gap with a whip stitch. And I'm going to make sure to leave a bit of a tail here to um, weave that in when I'm finished. And there we have it, it's as simple as that. The gap is now closed up, so I'm just going to weave the end through the leg like this, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and then I'm going to cut the yarn. Okay, so that's done. So the next step will be creating the black shoes. So grab your black yarn and I've created one. So I'll show you what they're gonna look like. So they're gonna look like this. So they're gonna go on like this. Um, so yeah, grab your black yarn and I will show you how to create that. So the shoes are really simple to make. The first thing we're gonna do is eight single crochets in a magic circle. And now that we've finished that, I'll just talk you through the remaining rounds because they're quite straightforward. So for round two and three, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. So eight single crochets in each round. Then for round four, you're going to do three single crochet increase, three single crochet increase. So that'll get you up to ten at the end of round four. Um, I'll meet you at the end of round four because that is the final round. But there is one final step that we need to do after we've completed round four. So now that I've reached the end of round four, all I'm going to do is chain one and then I'm going to do, uh, sorry, I'm going to turn and I'm going to do five double crochets. So let's do the first one. Two. Three. Four. Five, and that's it. So now all we need to do is cut the yarn, leaving enough to sew to the legs. And now we've got our two shoes like this. So I'm going to show you how to sew these to the legs. As you can see, I've sewn one of the feet on and I'm going to show you how to do the other foot now. So the first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to turn your bubsy over so that the back of the head is what's facing you. And then what you need to do is you just need to make sure that these five double crochet are lined up with the back of Bubsy's um, leg rather than the front. Because this is what's going to give the appearance of the sort of sole of the foot, if you see what I mean. So all you're going to do is line it up however you think looks about right. And then you're going to start doing whip stitches all the way around. So I'm just going to show you how I do that on camera. And I'm going to try my best because it's a bit of an awkward position for me. But um, yep. And 
And if it doesn't look quite right, you can always unpick it and do it again, so don't worry about that. So now that I've done the first five um, stitches and sewn those down, I'm just going to add a little bit of stuffing, so just a tiny amount. And I'm going to carry on sewing this down all the way around. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a look and see if I'm happy with that. Yep, I think that's fine. So all you need to do is just um, put the yarn through some other stitch like this and then you can just cut. And now you should have your two shoes sewn to the bottom of the feet. So now that that's complete, the next thing that I'm going to do is show you how to crochet the arms. So if you grab your jade yarn, that's what we're gonna start with. So the arms are pretty simple as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do five single crochets in a magic circle. And then we're going to increase all the way around to get us up to 10 single crochets at the end of round two. Okay, um, and now all we need to do is just a few rounds of single crocheting all the way around. So round 3 to round 12, we're going to single crochet all the way around, so that's 10 rounds. Um, so I'll meet you at the end of round 12. So I've reached the end of round 12. I've actually got one single crochet left to go, um, and I've left that just because we're going to be doing a colour change in that final single crochet. But the first thing I'm just going to quickly do now is add a little bit of stuffing to the arm. So I just want to add a bit to the bottom of the arm um, to kind of look like the hand, I guess. Um, like that. And I'm not going to actually stuff any more after this, so I'm literally just going to leave it like that because I like the arms to look a bit flat, but you can obviously stuff however you want to. Um, so as I mentioned, we now need to change colour to the uh, medium brown yarn to match the top. So in this final stitch, I'm just going to do a simple colour change, not bothering with the fake single crochet here because I'm just going to make sure that the colour change uh, side of the arm is facing inwards so that you won't ever actually see that. So I'm just going to change colour quickly now. And then I'm just going to talk you through the final few rounds because, again, they're quite straightforward. So for round 13, you're just going to single crochet all the way around in the front loops only. So I'll just show you an example of that. So just front loop only like that. So all the way around for round 13. Then for rounds 14 and 15, we're just going to single crochet all the way around normally. And then that's all we need to do for the arm. So I will meet you at the end of round 15. 
So I got to the end of round 15 and I just cut the yarn leaving a tail long enough for sewing. Uh, to speed things up I've already done the other arm and I've sewn it to the body like so. So once you've done both arms come back um, and you can watch this next portion where I'm going to show you how to sew them down. So all I'm going to do is grab my yarn needle as usual. And it's pretty simple. I'm just going to line up the top of the arm with the side of Bubsy. And I'm just going to sew into brown loops only. Like this. So. Sorry, it's a bit of an awkward angle as I mentioned uh, trying to sew on camera. I'm just going to make sure that's lining up. Yep, that's lining up um, nicely, so I'm happy to continue like this. Yep, that looks fine. And then I like to also sew down the other side of the arm, just because otherwise it's a bit too floppy. Then I might do a couple more stitches at the side sometimes just to secure it down a bit more. And then I'm just going to see how that looks from the front. I might just do a couple more stitches at the front. I think I'm happy with that so I'm just gonna feed the yarn through to the back and I'll cut that and then yep both the arms are now sewn down as you can see and they look fairly symmetrical um so the next step that we're going to do is we're going to create the scarf and then we're going to sew that down so grab your fuchsia yarn and I will show you how to do that so the scarf is worked in chains, um, so we're going to start by chaining four and I would recommend leaving a long tail at the start because we can actually use that for sewing. It's not the end of the world if you forget, you can always reattach some uh, yarn later on when you're doing the sewing, but just to make your life easier I'd recommend doing that. So I'm just going to do four, chain, one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to single crochet back across um, the chain for the first row. So I always um, usually work in these back loops here, but actually for this I'm just going to crochet in the top loop here to make our lives easier. So one, two, three. So that is the end of the first row and then we just need to chain one and turn. Um, and then all we're going to do for quite a few more rounds, so, sorry, not rounds, rows. So for quite a few more rows, we're going to actually just single crochet across, but in the front loops only. So that'll be for rows 2 to 39. So I'm just going to show you how to do um, row 2, and then you can just copy that um, for the next few rows. So we're going to do three single crochets in the front loop only. So one, two... and then don't forget to chain one and turn at the end of the row so yep just repeat that up to row 39 um, and then I will show you what to do so I reached the end of round 39 and sorry not round row 39 and then I'm just going to do row 40 now so row 40 is just the same as what we've been doing except we don't need to do the chain one turn at the end so one two and then I'm just going to uh, fasten off and leave a tail for sewing. 
So what you can do with the scarf, you can choose to just um, sort of um, tie this around the neck rather than sewing it if that's what you want to do. But I just like how it looks better when it's sewn down. So I'm just going to get Bubsy here and I'm going to try and show you how I do this. I'm sorry again if um, it doesn't show up very well how I'm sewing this. But effectively what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this part down here so this end bit here and then this bit here like this they meet together at the left hand side and then i may sew a bit more on this part here so that it sits nicely so that it sort of falls down like this because this is how i want it to look so yeah i'm just going to try and show you how i achieve that Okay, so I think I've basically finished um, sewing that. Obviously, I'm going to um, weave in the ends and chuck them down, but this is what it should basically look like at the end, and I'm pretty happy with this. So you should have um, this uh, scarf tail hanging down here, and then you should have the scarf wrapped around the neck. Um, I just realised as well, I didn't end up needing one of these uh, yarn tails, so I'm sorry for telling you to leave that. I'll just uh, edit that out the instructions, and hopefully you'll be able to see that on the written part of the video. But yeah, I don't know why I wrote that down in my um, initial draft of this pattern. Um, but yeah, so you can just weave in this end as well because we didn't end up needing that. Um, and yeah, that is the scarf. So the next thing that we're going to make is the beak. So grab your light yellow yarn, and I will show you how to make that. To start the beak we need to do three single crochets in a magic circle.
then I'll just talk you through the next few rounds because they're very straightforward. So for round two, you just need to increase all the way around. So you'll get six single crochets at the end of the round. Then for round three, you need to just single crochet all the way around. So remaining with six single crochets at the end of the round. And then for row four, you just need to single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase. And that will get you to nine single crochets at the end of round four. So I'll meet you at that point. So I got to the end of round four and I cut my yarn and now I'm ready to sew this to the face. So I would recommend sewing it to what I would say the bottom centre of the face. So probably around here would be about right. Uh, just position it however looks about right to you and then simply start sewing it down. Um, I'm going to use a whip stitch as I usually do but you can sew this however you want to. So I'm just going to try and again show you how I do this and you can pin it down if you want to but um, because it's such a small piece um, I'm not going to bother with that So now it's sewn down, you could have decided to stuff it slightly if you wanted to, but again, because it's so small, I kind of don't really think it's necessary and it stands up a bit better, I think, if you um, don't stuff it because it's lighter. So that is the beak. So now the next step is to uh, create the eyebrows, which we're going to create out of black yarn. So grab that and I'll show you how to do that. So the eyebrows are kind of similar to the scarf, except we um, crochet across in both of the loops the whole time rather than doing front loop only. So to start off with, we're going to chain three this time um, rather than four. And then for row one, we're just going to single crochet across so that's only two single crochets oh, and just a little tip as well because we're not going to be needing this tail I'm just going to try and crochet over the tail too so that I can just snip that at the end so one two sorry I know it's not the easiest to see with the um, black yarn so there we go that's the end of uh, row one then we just need to chain one and turn uh, and then for rows two to five, we're just going to do the exact same thing. So two single crochet across in both loops, uh, chain one turn. So I'll meet you at the end of row five. Okay, so I've reached the end of row five. So I'm just going to do the final row six. So just two single crochets. And this time we don't need to chain one and turn. So that's it. So then we just need to cut the yarn, leaving uh, enough for sewing. So that should be about enough. Um, and there we have it. So you need to make another one of these eyebrows. I've already done that earlier. So I've got two of these eyebrows now and I will show you how to sew them to the face and also how to create the eyes uh, out of felt as well at the same time. So I will um, be back and show you how to do that. So I already finished sewing down the uh, right eyebrow from our perspective. Um, so I'm just going to do the left one now. I did decide to use pins for this just because I think it's quite important that these are placed quite um, specifically because they need to be symmetrical. Um, and uh, yeah, I just decided to use pins this time. Um, 
to position them I would just use a picture of Bubsy and just remember that you need to leave enough space to do two eyes underneath and you need to leave a slight gap between the two eyebrows and you need to sort of position them um, above the uh, beak and try and make them as symmetrical as possible so this time I'm not actually going to use a whip stitch I'm just going to use a standard um, uh, sewing stitch so I'm just going to go through one of the jade stitches like this to start with and then I'm going to come back through another jade stitch and make that come through one of these black stitches here rather than always um, doing the same uh, colours in the same direction so usually with a whip stitch I would for example go into the black then the jade then I would go back into the black then into the jade and so on like that whereas this time I'm going to alternate it so I'll just do one more stitch to show you And the reason I do it like that is just simply because I think it looks better. But if you want to use a whip stitch, that's completely fine. You can do that as well. So I'm just going to finish um, sewing all the way around and I'll show you once that's complete. So now I've sewn the eyebrows down, I'm going to start cutting out the eyes from the felt. So as usual, I'm just going to do this freehand. So I've got a piece of white felt here and I'm just going to start cutting So I think that's slightly too big, so I'm just going to trim that down a bit. And I'm happy with that. Then I'm just going to um, cut out another semicircle, but out of black this time, and it should be um, slightly smaller. I think that's about right so uh, now that I'm happy with that all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use um, both of these semicircles and use them as a template to cut around again to make two eyes and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue the black part of the eye down to the white part and then I'm gonna glue the eyes to the face so I'll show you once I've got the two eyes ready to glue to the face so I've got my two eyes now, so I'm just going to place them on the face and check that I'm happy with how they look. Yep, I think that looks fine, so I'm just going to glue those down. Um, and then the next step, once we've done that, and this will actually be the final step, is just to um, crochet some cheek pieces, so like pieces of hair for the cheek, and then um, to sorry three pieces of hair for the top of the head as well so that'll be nine pieces in total out of the jade yarn so i will show you how to do that once you've glued glued down the eyes so for the cheek hair pieces we're going to start off by doing three single crochets in a magic circle then in the next round, we're going to do an increase in the first single crochet. At this point I'm just going to um, snip this tail because I don't want it getting in the way because this is quite fiddly as they're uh, very small rounds. 
So for round four, we're just going to single crochet all the way around. So that should be four single crochets. And that is it, it's that simple. So we just need to cut the yarn now, leaving enough for sewing. And if you want to, you can kind of put your yarn needle in here to kind of um, twist the piece around to make it the right shape, but you don't need to do that. So there we have it, that's our first uh, cheek hair piece. And we need six of these in total, so we're gonna need to repeat this five more times. Um, and then we're gonna make three um, hair pieces for the top of the head as well. So these are gonna look like this, I've just made um, one already. And it's the same pattern, except instead of finishing at round three, you're just gonna do one more round, round four of single crocheting all the way around. Um, so yeah, that's the only difference with the uh, top of the head hair pieces. And you need three of these in total. So you should have three uh, head hair pieces and six cheek hair pieces. So I'll meet you when you have those and I'll show you how to sew those to the face. And that will be the final step. I ended up sewing the uh, cheek hair pieces and the top of the head hair pieces down because um, off camera because it was just too fiddly and I couldn't quite get it on camera um, nicely. But it was essentially just whip stitches that I used and I just put the three um, hair pieces like this and then I did three cheek pieces either side. It doesn't have to um, look exactly symmetrical, it might even look a bit nicer if it's um, not quite symmetrical because it looks a bit more realistic. Um, but yeah, this is the finished Bubsy so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, and stay tuned for more in the future.